well, Miss Wednesday crew. It's the lovely E in her copper cup. Sip, sip. Mm. Hydrating with my water, my copper. Yes. Well, go ahead right away and give me thumbs up. Yes. Subscribe, share. Thank you, crew, for your love and support, as I always tell you. Well, I hope everyone had an awesome love day yesterday. Look at all of this around me. Spoiling myself, as always. <laughs> so today we're going to have some fun. Of course, I have some content for you. We're going to jump right in. So this is E's Heart Smart Strawberry Smoothie. Yes. So it's basically just three ingredients and strawberries, chia seeds, and coconut milk. So I'm going to get started. And oh, let me tell you, my strawberries are fresh. And I like to freeze my fruit so it's frozen and everything's been clean with my vinegar and water. And I did say one. So I've shared this with you before. You just take it, pull it right off. Usually it just come right off. I've already, I saved one to share with you guys. There we go. But I've already, you know, I love my gadgets. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my strawberries in. It's good dripping. So I hope everyone enjoyed yesterday and Every day, as I told you before, every day is love day all year. But okay, yeah, it's one day that everyone decides to like stop and acknowledge and get flowers, candy, etc. But I think you should do that year round, crew. All right, one cup of coconut milk. tablespoon of chia seeds and I'm just going to slide all these things to the side because I'm done and get my top on all right crew hold your ears to sip sip mm. Mm. oh my gosh that was a big sip sip but can I tell you how good this is all right so you want it this is quick and easy you want to help to ward off cancer you want to help with aging <laughs> but I put a ton of stuff in me 
as you all know, but this is something to help to fight against aging. Also, um, um, I recommend buying your strawberries fresh and freeze them. It's so good. It's nice and cold. Um, I will list the ingredients below. Um, another thing, chia seeds are good. I don't know if I said it, but also they're good to help with diabetes too, as well as your heart. So everything has healing properties in it. Make sure um, you give me thumbs up, like me, follow me on TikTok, um, Instagram, Facebook, of course, YouTube. And um, thank you for sharing on your platforms and um, just forwarding my info. Thank you, everyone, for purchasing my T-shirt. Support, support. Thank you, crew. And um, you can find... Of course, Evangeline's Fashions in my reshop, and you can catch me at the Half Moon Farmers Market every Wednesday from three to six, and um, some content. Wait, I want another sip. Mmm, it's so good, but I don't want to spill it, crew. So I'm just gonna move it to the side. <laughs> so I want to tell you about my angel today. She has a bouquet of flowers, as you can see, and I have loved on myself with all these beautiful flowers, as you can see. So this one is Surprise, and I love to surprise people and give gifts and flowers and all. So the book today, because, you know, it's February, and we're in Black History Month, so I thought I'd share this one on Dr. Carnell West who is a professor, an excellent author, and I thought I'd pull a picture off the wall and share with my crew. So I had the honor of meeting Dr. Carnell West um, at Norfolk State University, where I attended, of course, and there I am. I don't know if you can see it, I hope, crew, with Dr. Carnell West. I also got his autograph, so um, when I told him, like, Race Matters is one of my favorite books that he has written. So I thought I'd share that with you. And then the other picture down below is, um, this was in 2009, and this is uh, Guilford Sutton, and I had the honor of meeting him. He is one of the original Buffalo soldiers. Now, he was still alive in 2009, and back then, I believe he was like maybe over a hundred, but I'm not sure if he's still with us, but it was such an honor to meet him and, you know, get a little of the history of his experience um, when he was in the war. So thank you, you know, again, history. I love sharing all of this with you guys. I hope everybody's getting flowers and loving on themselves, not waiting for anyone. I hope that my crew is being nice to each other. Remember to communicate. Remember life is about seasons. Um, sometimes we're in each other's life forever and sometimes we're not. And we have to accept that, that there comes an exodus on our journey with friends, with family, with everyone, relationships, and you have to accept it. So I thought I would share with you, um, I do want to share with my crew to take time to read in your Torah or your Bible, Ecclesiastics chapter 3, which speaks about a time and a season. And it helps you. It literally says like a time to be born, a time to die, it goes on and on. And that chapter is something that helped me some years ago um, when I lost my mom and dad. Well, I didn't lose them. They're still with me. My angel's watching over me. But that is like something that I hang on to that I was really blessed to have them pretty much, I don't know, for years from a baby up to a grown woman. But it, I knew that everything is a season. It's a season to be with people. It's a season to be on a job. It's a season 
for anything. And when the exodus comes, it's hard for us. But you have to know your season is up. And you just accept it and you move on. And you have to know and hang on to the memories. It's imperative to hang on to the memories. Even if an exodus is a bad exodus, focus on something good with that situation. So I just thought I'd encourage you guys to love, be nice, um, make memories, enjoy your journey. And thank you so much, everyone, for your love and support. And I'm rocking my love for my crew. <laughs> So, um, all I could tell you is what? Peace and love. Thank you.